Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, poster child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your welcome. I'm scared. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. So, you've got to understand, Kendrick. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel, that blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. That shit stretches all the way back to Cain, man. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, sister. Keep your voice down. Is Kane real? I don't know. Not sure I want to The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? 
Yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always fly. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? See, we weren't meant to live like that. Man, I followed someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam, but it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. Anarchs, we are the only ticket to free living in the afterlife, my friend. No one bows to Nan's Rodriguez. He leads by example, down here with us. Some chicken shit, limp wrist paper pusher hiding up in his tower. The camera, she couldn't see the difference. I don't need to bear my fangs to feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity camera label. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. You know, speaking of the masquerade. I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Her name is Pat. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and shit ain't so fun no more. She's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again louder. Junkie, it's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me. Hunters are the kind of trouble you don't. Across the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret here. All right, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's side. Just let me know when it's done. You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. And looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. LaCroix? Shit. LaCroix's just the guy who backstabbed and wheeled and dealed his way into becoming king son of a bitch of all the local Camarilla. Him and any of the traitors that sided with the Cam want power here, they'll get what's due. Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch-free state. 
The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Amherst, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now LaCroix and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. I got their meeting right here. LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. Long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes it harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Did that chase you in here, Cammy? You guys are all the same. Heard nine saved your ass again. You think LaCroix would have stopped counting his money long enough to get your back, Jack? Cammy, you'd have a whole lot less about your neck if it hadn't been for nines calling the prince out in that courtroom. Shit. Looks like things worked out for LaCroix anyway. Got himself a new grand girl out of it. As long as you're a tool for some cape, you don't have to say a word to start pissing me off. Cape, Cammy. Camarilla elders. The ones that have been around so long they think candlelight's a keen invention. You're doing their dirty work and you don't even know it. Ah, uh, that's real. Let me put it in perspective for you. The Camarilla claims every kindred's part of the organization regardless. You do something they don't like, well, you're Camarilla, so you get punished under their laws, like it or not. You need to start listening, or you're gonna wind up just like your sire. I'm Damsel, grandmother of these mothers, and one pissed bitch since the Roy ruled in. Hey, Cammy, I don't apologize often, but it's just with all the shit that's been going down lately. And on top of it, this plague bearer getting the CDC's attention, maybe I misjudged you's all I'm saying. A plague bearer's a fool, but doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. Enough gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Wait, 
If Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pot. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. What did you just say? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all. Give the Anarch community my regards. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unruly Ones. You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go, and remember... Under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. It's the hops, bro.
Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Yo, lady, over here. Ah, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's gotta start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Jeez. What kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. All right, look, I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh, Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge, over. There, the security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse, all one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah?
hop in. Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Said to send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour, and a fresh box of Krusty Creams in the back. How about on your way out, we, uh, huh? Ah, you know, I'm keeping the undesirables out, and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. I've said all I need to for now. I tell you? It's all over the police radio. Do you comprehend the consequences of your actions? This kind of exposure reeks of the supernatural in mortal eyes. Even the Sabbat aren't this careless. I'm losing my patience. What did you see on the ship? And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Yes... You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Which is... Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Yes. 
Yes. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge. The physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Yes. They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but they lack the backbone to lead. Be thankful you don't have to deal with them, at least for now. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. somewhere. 